Welcome to the third part of this recording. If you missed the first two, just check in the description area of this uh, video on YouTube. You'll get links directly to them so that you're up to speed and uh, you know what I'm talking about here. Now, Raila Odinga became very sudden, very popular very suddenly uh, because of a few factors that went in his favor. Okay, I'm not saying Raila Odinga was not popular before then. He had wide support across the country. In fact, out of all the NASA principles, it was widely accepted that he was the most popular person right across the country. Okay, uh, this is because of his uh, record of fighting for the rights of the Kenyan people. His long, his long, very, very long struggle, yeah, for a better Kenya. Okay, um, I'll not go into the details of that, but this is what really it was. However, uh, coming to the Jubilee government, the Jubilee government, as I've said before, and many people have opposed this, but this is a fact, uh, is the best performing government we have had so far since independence. Okay, they've managed to achieve quite a lot. Yes, there's been a lot of corruption, in fact, mega corruption scandals, but uh, previous governments also had the same thing. Okay, I admit this particular government had bigger scandals than all the others. Fine. Yeah, that happened. Okay, then the other biggest uh, disadvantage they had is that they failed to unite the country together. Okay, now that is tricky because politically, uh, some sometimes, and we saw the same problem with Waikibaki, Baki, politically when you feel threatened, you just go back to your community. Okay, and this of course happened uh, to Huru, it can happen to anybody. Okay, but looking at the development record like this, yeah, roads built, uh, Huduma centers, there are a lot of good things which this government did for the people of Kenya. And uh, at the end of uh, 2016, the end of last year, somebody asked me for a comment. I've said this before. And I was very sure this government was going to get re-elected. They had played their cards right. They had even started their campaigns in opposition areas very early, as early as uh, 2013 when they got uh, sworn into office. They immediately embarked on that. They had played their cards well. After all, D.P. William Ruto is a very smart guy. Okay? So... As the country started this year, it was still obvious and it still looked like they were going to have an easy time to be re-elected. But then a number of things happened that favored Ray Laudinga and uh, put Jubilee suddenly in problems. Okay? The scandals and the huge corruption caught up with them, okay? especially the NYS. That was very bad. And this was coming at a back, in the backdrop of a Kenyan uh, society where there was a lot of unemployment where there was a lot of despair, yeah, people not having jobs, people not being able to earn income, businesses failing, so it was bound to catch up with them, okay, those factors worked in. Then the drought, the drought had a far-reaching effect, because apart from the people in the drought areas being affected, this also affects the economy, right, and this, the pinch was being felt by every Kenyan. So as all these things are happening, suddenly, you know, people looked and said, oh, we have Raila Odinga here, and they started listening to him more carefully. And of course, being a seasoned politician, he cashed in on the areas. He knew where area Kenyans were hurting, and he cashed in on those areas. And of course, the rest is history. His popularity just snowballed and snowballed and snowballed. Okay, apart from that, Jubilee also shot itself in the foot. Yes, I've done an ebook called uh, Jubilee Goofs, okay, where I detail uh, what the, actually the party did. Uh, I believe it was a case of uh, overconfidence and, uh, in some certain instances, arrogance, okay, which came into play. And I believe the greatest uh, culprit of this arrogance was the fact that uh, the older uh, members of society, the Wazes, who started getting the president's ear, ear more and more, uh, became more influential. And when they became more influential, we could even see the change in the presidency. Yeah, the, rung, the, the young, uh, vibrant, you know, new ideas president who took over in 2013 completely changed into something else, okay? Now, these are the people who made, uh, you know, because you can make decisions which hurt your party and they hurt your politics, yeah? And uh, the decisions they made, like, to start cleaning up their party, asking people for certificates before the nomination, interfering with the nominations, etc., etc., dealt the party a big blow especially because their support base was not really uh, firm. Apart from Central Province and, uh, to, well, to some extent, the Rift Valley, uh, I'm not saying it didn't have support there, but I'm saying the support there was not firm. Yeah? Uh, and this made the party vulnerable. Okay? And so this also played into the hands of uh, Ray Laudinga a lot. And this is the luck which came on uh, to his side. This is the luck which favored him. And that is why today we're having this discussion. 
okay he has become hugely hugely popular in the country if you attend meetings where uh, uh, Ray Laudinga speaks you will know what I'm talking about his uh, supporters adore him his supporters will do anything for him he has got uh, very <laughs> his support is very strong very emotional and when you are up against somebody like that in politics it becomes very difficult to dent their support it becomes very difficult um, this has been clearly displayed in their campaigns we saw the jubilee side try a lot of strategies to be able to drum up support uh, to be able to get their supporters emotional like trying to revive the ICC cases but in this case it didn't work because everybody was on the side of Ray Laudinga everybody had developed uh, and also because of the factors which I've mentioned bad luck actually because uh, Jubilee government did not decide there's going to be drought this year they don't they didn't do anything to bring the drought into Kenya this year which has affected them so much um, the economy of course policies affect the economy but uh, that was not all their fault you get my drift okay so when all these factors are happening what happened is that on the ground we started seeing Kenyans develop this thing of Jubilee must go home okay a lot of Kenyans outside the communities I'm talking you know outside is uh, strong the two communities which are behind uh, Jubilee and the result is what we call in politics a protest vote now a protest vote does not mean you like the candidate you you're, you're, you're supporting so much it means that you are you're so strongly against uh, you're so strongly for change that you side with the side of change yeah you decide I'm going to vote for change yeah and I'm going to vote for change because I don't want this government in government anymore. I want them out as soon as possible. Yeah. Now that protest vote joined with the popular vote of Ray Laudinga. <laughs> and what resulted was actually a tsunami. Yeah, as Ray La likes using that word. It was a wave which was very strong. And a wave which was very difficult for any dark forces to be able to withstand. So whatever was done uh, to try and win this election just fell flat on its face okay now there's some sensitive issues here which i discuss in detail in my club 1999 in the notes to this video uh and this uh especially the hacking the controversial hacking yeah uh, what went wrong with that the msando murder yeah the people responsible okay i discussed that in my club 1999 it's very easy to be a member just check in the uh, description area of this video you'll find details okay um, so those sensitive issues are what you will need to wrap up uh, everything that I've said in this uh, uh, recording. Okay, so that's what it is. We now wait to see what happens next. Uh, of course, Kenyans, the tension is high, the suspense is high. Uh, we wait, and of course, you now have the full story. It will now be the dark forces versus uh, versus justice or versus Raila. Yeah, who will win? Even me, I can't predict. But I've given you the facts, and of course, uh, there's a good chance that actually justice will prevail, and uh, the rightful fifth president of the Republic of Kenya will take over. Just continue to pray for our country, continue to pray that we go in that direction. Before I sign off, I need to repeat again, it's very important to keep our peace. Uh, in fact, in this, at the end of this video, I've included a link to a video I did of why violence will really spoil the chances of NASA. Yeah, it will destroy completely the chances of NASA having the fifth president of Kenya. And that's why NASA supporters should do everything in their power to keep away from violence, to keep away from any violent protest. They should be calm, calm as possible. Yeah, uh, let's have a unified country. Let's, the violence has never solved any problem. It will certainly not solve anything here. So let's keep peace. Let's keep our country peaceful, whatever happens. This is Chris Kumekucha. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you for listening to me. See you next time. Bye.